you know, one of the great things about this story is we've been able to build it from the ground up as something fresh and new. But there are plenty of events throughout Marvel's history where alternate realities have come crashing together. Different storylines, different aspects of larger events that we're picking and choosing from to inspire what is at the core of Marvel Future Revolution. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of the Marvel multiverse, whether it's the What If comics, or it's a series like Exiles, or Days of Future Past, or Avengers Forever. Just tons and tons of possibilities. The idea of what if for Marvel is so important and so robust. I think that's part of what's fun about Marvel Future Revolution as well, is the lines are can be a little bit blurred and, and gameplay styles can shift from you know person to person where they can explore different things with these characters that we've never been able to before. All things from Marvel are, are rooted in story. And our story is that these worlds are converging. The challenge was, if we're gonna create these, these areas with such a high level of fidelity, um, we really needed to deliver on that and to allow you the freedom to go everywhere in these areas. You can fly, you can look around, and our friends at Netmarble are so good um, at delivering that really immersive feeling. And if we pay attention to that and stay true to that, then we can put them in all these different situations. But at its core, it'll be fundamentally Marvel. And it's everything that true believers around the world will want in a game. I think one of the things that people will be really excited to see are how we handle the villains in the game. Because we're looking not only at heroes from multiple worlds, but we're looking at villains from multiple Earths. And so even though we'll see some of the heaviest hitters and some of the fan favorites from the other side of the Marvel Universe, we're gonna see them in ways that really apply to the vast possibilities within this story and really open up a lot of unique ideas on how these villains can be approached. And it's the first time for Marvel games that we have multiplayer, open world, RPG on mobile. It's all new, it's revolutionary, and that's why we call it Marvel Future Revolution.